In this video, we'll look at whether barium hydroxide, this is BaOH2, is ionic or covalent. So what we're looking at is the bond between the barium and then this hydroxide group. This is a polyatomic ion. So we can look at the periodic table and find barium, which is right here. Barium is a metal. Look at oxygen. That's a nonmetal. So we said barium is a metal. Oxygen's a nonmetal. And then hydrogen over here, kind of a weird one. It's a nonmetal that's over on this side here. So we have a nonmetal. So we have a metal and nonmetals. That's going to be an ionic compound. And in this case, we're talking about this bond between the metal and the group of nonmetals. That'll be our ionic bond. There are two hydroxides, so there'd be two ionic bonds there. Let's look at charge a little bit, though, because this is an ionic compound. So barium right here in group 2, that'll have a 2 plus ionic charge. It's in group 2. For the hydroxide, this OH, you just need to memorize that the hydroxide ion always has a negative charge. We have two of them because we need that two negative to balance out the two positive. That gives us a net charge of zero. And now the negatives here and the positive, they're attracted. And that's why we have an ionic bond. So barium hydroxide, it's an ionic compound. Let's talk just briefly, though, about this hydroxide ion. So for the hydroxide ion, we'll just look at one of them. There are two. But for the hydroxide ion, the oxygen, we said that was a nonmetal. The hydrogen, we said, is also a nonmetal. So if we have a nonmetal and a nonmetal, that is a covalent or molecular compound. So the bonds between the oxygen and the hydrogen in this polyatomic ion, in this hydroxide ion, they're covalent bonds. But overall, between the metal and the polyatomic ion, the bond right here between the barium and each of the hydroxides, that's going to be ionic. So we call the whole thing ionic. This is Dr. B answering the question whether barium hydroxide is ionic or covalent. It is an ionic compound. Thanks for watching.